All right, so thanks for being here on Team Forever Strong's first Coach Basics Getting Started Right call for December. It is December 6th, and I just wanted to say welcome to the team, and I wanted to start out by introducing myself and giving you guys just a little bit of background about myself and how long I've been coaching, why I got into it, um, and how I've been able to build this into such a successful business and then be able to help you guys get started right too so that you can build a successful business as well. So I have been coaching now for almost two and a half years. I have two little kids at home. Landon is four and Kirsten will be three on January 1st. Um, before coaching, I was a teacher. I was an elementary school teacher for eight years, had my master's degree in special education. And when I had Landon, I handed in my paperwork and became a stay at home mom. It was something that I knew I always wanted to do. And we knew that things were going to be really tight financially wise, even though my husband had a really great job, losing that one income. Um, as you can imagine, is really tough to do. But we were willing to, you know, make some sacrifices to make it work. So I handed in my paperwork and I became a stay-at-home mom. And we were sinking really fast financially. I was tutoring most nights of the week. My husband was working his full-time job. He was also running four other businesses on the side. And then here we go and we had our... Um, I'm just going to mute the, mute the lines for just one second, guys. And then at the end, we can um, unmute. So anyways, as I was saying, <clears throat> sorry, I'm like losing my voice. So I had my daughter, Kirsten, and they're 18 months apart. And it was, let me think back now. It was about when she was four months old and Landon was 22 months old. Now, by now, guys, I had been sinking. We were so far in debt. It was ridiculous from living off of one income. Um, we had racked up $35,000 on our credit card because we were living off of one income. We depleted our entire savings account and we were going negative $1,000 every single month because we just could not swing it anymore from living off of this one income. And my husband pulled me over and, you know, I'll never forget it in our house. And he had said, you know, I know that this is what you've always wanted to do. I, I want you to be able to stay at home with the kids too, but we have literally done everything we can in our power to make this work and we can't swing it anymore. We still have our whole lives ahead of us. We can't go down this path. If we keep going this way, we're going to end up bankrupt. You know, this isn't the way to live. Like you're going to have to go back and find a teaching job. And so that's where I was when someone told me about coaching. And so I really do believe that this is all about timing too, really when the right time is for you. Um, and I think that things come into your life for a reason at just the right time. And it just so happened that I happened to meet my coach who told me about this opportunity at that moment when I was going to have to start to look for a new job to go back to work. And as skeptical as we were, especially my husband, because he has his MBA in entrepreneurship and he's owned his four other businesses, five other businesses on the side, he did not think that this was going to be a legit business. He did not understand how it worked. So he was kind of like, I don't know about this, Kathy. <laughs> Very skeptical. So we talked about it and we decided, you know what? You're going to give it a couple months. If anything, I could lose that 35 pounds that I had gained from my two kids because I had 35 extra pounds I was carrying around. I could not get rid of it. I was so exhausted all the time. So I figured, you know, if anything, I can at least get healthier, feel better about myself. And then if I can earn a little bit of money, then I can keep staying home with the kids. I never came into this, guys, with big goals. I never came into this thinking that I was going to replace my teacher salary. I never had any kind of big ambitions or dreams about this at all. All I wanted to do was earn a couple hundred dollars every week so that I could continue staying home with the kids so that we could basically just flat, flat line. You know, I knew we were still going to have all that debt. I wasn't looking to pay that off. I was just looking to just basically barely make ends meet. So I did not have to go back and work. Um, and so I got into this guys and I loved it so much. When you find something that you are really passionate about, that you really believe in, that you love, when you work at it, it doesn't ever feel like work. And that's what happened to me with this, guys. I got into it. 
I lost that 35 pounds. I committed to the 21 day fix. I drank my shake every day. I was in a challenge group. I got awesome results. I did three rounds of it. I lost all that weight. I got into better shape than I've ever been in my entire life from doing that program. Um, and I could not help but want to tell people about it because I felt so great. And I wanted to share that with other people. I wanted other moms and other people who felt like they could never get their body back to know that they could do it and that they could do it with this. So I was open and I shared my journey and I love, love, love what I do two and a half years later and I still love it. And so I worked on it every single day when the kids would go to bed. I never sacrificed my time with them because they're my priority. So I work on this at night or when, you know, if they would take a nap during the day and over time, it was, I think, at my seven-month mark, my income that I was earning matched my teacher salary when I left my teaching position, position after eight years of teaching. By one year, I was earning six figures. Fifteen months in, I was able to pay off all the rest of that credit card debt um, and start building a savings account for once in our life, and it's just grown from there. And I've, you know, this isn't easy, guys. You know, it's, it's definitely work. And it didn't happen by chance or by luck. But when you get into something that you really, like I said, love so much, you want to do it. And that's what this is for me. I just happen to find my, my passion and it's, and it's this business. So nothing gets me more excited than when we have new coaches come onto the team because I get to tell you guys about all that and I get to help you guys build a business and it can be anything that you want it to be. So <clears throat> you're joining an awesome team, guys. We uh, Team Forever Strong is a 2015 um, elite 10-star diamond team. We are a top 50 team out of 460,000 other teams in the network. So you guys are in great hands. Phenomenal, phenomenal team. Everyone is truly just there to support each other. We're like a second family and everyone is so positive and motivating and I kind of like just staying in my little beach body bubble, I call it, <laughs> and stay away from the news and all that other you know negativity that's out there because everyone here is just so positive and solution oriented and I love that about that so much. So welcome to our team and you know right off the bat i wanted to tell you guys that no matter what your goal is with this business this is your own business so congratulations on owning your first business if this is your first business but you are your own boss and that can be sometimes a little tricky to wrap your brain around because we're used to going in, most of us are used to going in and working for somebody else and having somebody else tell you exactly what to do and when it's due by and you're on a schedule and, and, and you're laid out, everything's laid out exactly what needs to be done and told when it needs to be handed in and you just kind of follow it. And with this, you get to create it to be whatever you want it to be. If you want this to be a hobby and you just want to get some extra income coming in that you want to go towards bills in the house or maybe a vacation, it can be a hobby. If you want to be in this because you just want to be a part of a positive, a positive community, it can be just that. If you want to come into this and you want to turn this into your full-time career like I've been able to do, it can be that. It can really be anything that you want it to be and that's what's so cool about this. So... If you guys start out and always keep this in the back of your mind, if you just focus on helping anyone and everyone that you can along your journey, you will succeed at this. So a lot of people think that this is a sales position. And as a matter of fact, it's so far from that. The people who come in and treat this like a sales job, they don't last long because it's not about sales. Yeah, we're selling products, right? but we're not going and we're posting on our walls all these salesy things, right? We are just sharing our journey and that's what we teach our team. We teach everyone on our team to just share their journey, to be themselves, and then that automatically inspires others to want to improve themselves. And so that's what our team teaches and that's what I love so much about our team is that if you look at any of the coaches' walls on this team, none of them look salesy none of them look spammy or like any kind of scammy stuff like you might see those it works people do dollar bills flying all over the place we don't do any of that kind of stuff so um focus on sharing your journey and don't think about this as a sales position because it's absolutely not that at all it's so far from that 
Um, all right, so by now, brand new coach, there's a lot of information being thrown at you, and we're totally here to help you every single step of the way. Everyone starts out in the same position as you, and I can tell you that it gets easier. Just like anything else, when you learn something new, it just takes a little bit of time, and the more you do it, the, the easier it becomes, and it ends up being just like riding a bike. It really does. So by three months in, you're going to feel so much more confident in what you're doing. Once you go through this training, at the end of it, you're going to feel like a million bucks because this is going to teach you literally everything that you need to know to be a successful coach. So my best advice that I can give you guys is to really and truly take this training seriously choose to show up in the group every day and to read the posts that go up there or to watch the quick um, video that gets posted, engage in it, be a sponge and then apply it to your business because that's where I learned everything too. And the coaches who really do go through this and finish it from front to back, they are building successful businesses right now and they're doing incredible. So that can be you too. So by now, as a brand new coach, you should have all received your getting started right email. If you still need one, let me know. Um, you can post it in the page, let your upline coach know to make sure that they get that over to you. But everyone should have a getting started right email. And everyone should have, have made, if you haven't already, some of you might have already done this, made a post on social media so on Facebook or on Instagram, letting people know now that you are a beach body coach and that this is a new journey for you and why you're in it. Just be natural and be yourself. If you're one of my coaches, I always attach my very first post that I made two and a half years ago when I told everyone on Facebook that I was a coach. And so if you want to use mine as a template, I'd be more than happy to share it with you in the Coach Basics group so you can use it as a guideline. But you definitely want to make sure that you share yours and you put it out there so that way people now will know and then they will start to watch and follow your journey. First and foremost, right, when you get started as a coach, the best and most important thing that you can do is to make sure that you are in a challenge group and that you are committed to a program and that you're drinking your shake. That's the best and most effective way to become a successful coach because you can't help other people if you're not working on improving yourself. And you can't really be half in and half, you know, one toe in and one toe out. You have to be all in with it. So make sure that you are all in a program and that you're committing to it, that you know when you're going to have your shake and that you wake up every day. Like for me, I wake up, I have my shake for breakfast every day because it's easy, it's quick and fast, um, and I can take it on the go with me because it's crazy around here with the two kids. So every morning, it's like clockwork. I get up, I have my shake. I, you know, I run around the house with the kids while I'm trying to get them out the door while I'm drinking my shake, and then I get my workout in um, either during nap time or at nighttime. So make sure that you are committed to it and that you're in a challenge group because nothing will build your business faster and give you more credibility than when you get your results. When you have that before and after picture to show, or if you don't feel comfortable putting a picture up, you don't have to. You can just take the measurements on your own, weigh yourself before and after, and you can just share your results that way in words. You can just say like, oh, in this round, of you know 21 day fix or in this first round of core to force I lost 12 pounds in seven inches and you can talk about it um, but just be you that's where it all starts is by being a product of the product and that doesn't mean that you are going to be at your goal weight at all it just means that you are working on improving yourself so like I said at the beginning when I first started right I was 35 pounds heavier than what I am now and I was on social media Every single day, I was letting people know that I needed to get rid of this baby weight. They knew that I was doing the 21-day fix. They knew that I was committed to it because I was showing up every day sharing it. Um, and then at the end, I had that good before and after picture to share with the results so they could see. I was a real person putting in the work. There was no patch or pill or tea or any kind of quick fix. It was just me following the nutrition plan, pressing play, drinking my shake every single day until I got the results. And I know that this is a tough time of year with December 
and the holidays and New Year's Eve. And so what I've been telling my coaches is, or any of my new challenges that I bring on is to still be in the program, right? But you know, if you're going to be going to a Christmas party or you're going to be going, you know, like for example, it's my birthday on the 17th, right? I'm going to, I'm following the 21 day fix meal plan. So I have the portion control containers, right? We teach you to just save up the carbs and the healthy fats, you know, those containers, the yellow and the blues for later on that night. So you can have that small piece of cake. You can have your drink. So you don't have to give it all up because you definitely want to be realistic with it, but you definitely don't want to use December as a, as a way to just kind of coast to the end of the year and then start in January. Now is the absolute best time to become a coach. And here's why. If you can choose to commit to a program, like I just said, and you choose to show up every day and people are watching you, right? Most people are not willing to do that this time of year. But if you can choose to do that, right? And you can choose to show up every day, just sharing your journey, right? Pressing play, drinking your shake, being in the challenge group, right? Sharing your journey, the good, the bad, the ugly, everything, just being real. Come January 1st, guys you will be slammed with people who want to work on their health and fitness goals because most of the people right now this time of year don't want to do anything. They have January 1st in the back of their mind and they've already decided that they have given up for the rest of the year and that they are going to wait until January 1st to start. And when January 1st comes, if you are that consistent, reliable coach who's showing up sharing positivity and motivation and you're showing your workout picture and you're showing that you're in a program and you're showing that this is hard right now because I just had to go to a cookie swap, but I pressed play before and I only had one cookie instead of like 12. <laughs> if you're being real and you're sharing these things, you give yourself more credible and people will come to you versus the other coach who's showing up every single day. So be that coach who's just going to commit to you. Focus on yourself first and foremost, right now as a brand new coach. That's the most important thing that you can do is to be in this training, completing the activities and the exercises, right? Showing up for these weekly calls and working on you in your own health and fitness goals. And it's not going to be perfect. That's okay. It's not supposed to be, but at least commit to it. That's, those are the most important things that you can do as a brand new coach to learn about the business and build credibility for yourself. All right. Um, your very first goal and the most important goal as a brand new coach is to find three people by the end of this month who want to get started um, and join our next challenge group. So if you're in the Team Forever Strong team page, I always post up when our next challenge groups or any kind of groups or anything we have running on are in the cover photo. So we have a 21 day fix group starting on the 12th and we have a quarter force group starting on the 12th so you guys should try to find three people who want to do it with you who want to come on this journey with you to just feel better about themselves and to get healthy they don't have to be active coaches like you guys but just three people who want to get started on this journey with you and the start date is december 12th next monday if you can help three people this month then you've hit your very first goal as a coach, which is success club. And you're going to learn more about this in the coach basics training. But basically success club is the most important thing in this business. It's the backbone to this business. It's actually the only thing that will build a business is by hitting what we call it success club. And it just boils down to how many people that you're helping. So the minimum is three people every month. So if you find, let's just say, three friends who want to do the 21 Day Fix Challenge group with you, and all three of them buy a challenge pack, that's the month of Shakeology plus the workout program, probably what you guys bought, then you would hit Success Club, okay? Um, if you're in this for a hobby, I always tell my coaches that if you're in this for a hobby, like there's no right or wrong answer, it's all about what your goals are with this, and how that aligns to, to these activities that you're going to do. So if you're in this as a hobby and you're not looking to turn this into like a six figure income earning business over time, you have no desire to ever leave your full-time job and do this full-time. You just want to do this kind of on the side. 
that will be your goal. It will be three people every single month so that you hit what we call success club five. You get two points for every challenge pack that, that um, somebody buys under you. So you'd actually end up with six points if you signed up three people. So if you're in this for just a hobby, you can write down in your notebook. This is what I did when I first became a coach. I will help three people by the end of December. I will hit success club five, right? Boom, your first goals are done. But if you are in this to build a business that will lead to residual income over time, you know, the kind of career where you can step away from it for a while and still get that paycheck coming in. You can go on vacation for two weeks and not do anything and you'll still get that paycheck. Or, you know, you just don't feel fulfilled at your full-time job. You wish that there was something else. This could be it. Your goal is going to be to help five people get started on their health and fitness journey every month. And we refer to that as Success Club 10. So it's two points for every person, right? So if you have those five people who buy a challenge pack, you get two points for each one. That will give you 10 points, Success Club 10. So those are for people who are looking to build a legit business. Um, I, I wanna say this just because I know that there are some people who don't know this, but Success Club 10 earns you so much more income, guys. Like, way more income. And I'm going to kind of lay it down for you just so you can see the difference. If you sign up three people a month and you hit Success Club 5, right, you will get a $40 commission. Um, so you'll earn $120, basically, right, if you help three people. So what that means is now you've got your cost covered. You've got your Shakeology cost covered for that month, which is good, right? It's free product for you. That's awesome. But where you really start to see the income come in is if you start to help five people and get five people signed up every single month. So how it works out is if you get those five people signed up and you get the $40 commission, that's on the low end. It depends on what challenge pack that you, you know, sell to somebody, but say it's the 140 challenge pack, like for the 21 day fix and you get a $40 um, <clears throat> commission, you'd earn $200, right? For those five people. Now, because you've signed up five people in a five week period, Beachbody will give you a hundred dollar bonus on top of that. So you'll get the $300, right? Um, on top of that, next month, for the following month, you'll get free leads from Beachbody. So that means that these are people who go to the website, they buy Shakeology or they buy a challenge pack and they get assigned to you and you are their free coach and you earn free instant commission off of those people. And now January is the biggest month, guys, for free leads. Last year, I earned an extra free $400 just in that one month, all right, just for signing up five people in December. So that's a lot of extra money. So if you can sign up five people this month, all right, you could end up earning yourself like total over these next two months are close to like $800, $800 right? So I would definitely focus on doing that um, if you are looking to build this into you know, a big business. So I don't like to candy coat anything guys for you. If you do want to turn this into a six figure income business, like I have, um, it's going to be success club 10 every single month. Um, and just write it down, take it seriously, treat it like a business. Just say, I will help five people every month. I will hit success club 10. And when you say that to yourself and you look at it every day, when you sit down to work, it just naturally will happen because you'll be putting in the right actions to make that happen. All right. Um, if you guys have any kind of questions, just make sure that you tag me in the coach basics training. Um, I'm in a lot of different groups with a lot of different trainings going on. So sometimes I won't see it unless you tag me. So make sure to tag me um, and I will get right back to you. And then honestly, guys, I'm going to, I'm just going to leave it with this. It's one more thing. I don't want to overwhelm you with too many, too many things, but, this is really, guys, this business is so, it's so easy. It's so simple. It can be so, so simple. I'm not kidding you. There's no inventory. You know, you can do it from your phone. You can do it when you're traveling. You can do it anywhere as long as you have internet access, right? Like I said, right on this phone, I built this thing to a six-figure income in one year on this phone, all right? And I've been doing this now for two and a half years, all right? It's very easy. They've laid it all out for you. You have all the trainings here. You have access to me. You have access to your coach. You have access to the team. 
You have access to Coach on uh, Coach Online Office to get more trainings. What's hard is choosing to be self-disciplined and choosing to show up every single day. That's where people struggle. All right, and this business is all about consistency and commitment and choosing to show up and treating it like a business. If you can take ownership of this and realize that this is your own business and you treat it like that, and if you treat it like a business, it will reward you like a business. If you treat it like a hobby, it's going to reward you like a hobby. There is no um, secret sauce. No one gets luckier. Um, people don't do well in this business by chance. It's just a direct reflection between how much work you're going to put into it. Just plain and simple, right? No easy way around it. So if you are willing to be here in a year, and if you're willing to show up and actually be consistent with this, your entire life could change the way that it did for us and our family. All right. So I wanted to end with this, with this um, quote, and it's by Zig Ziglar. I really like him a lot, but it's called The Three C's of Life. Choices, chances, changes. You must make a choice to take a chance or your life will never change. And it's so true. Before this opportunity, guys, we were living our life the exact same way, right? We kept going out, getting all these things that we couldn't afford, digging ourselves into a hole even further and further and further. $35,000 of credit card debt, right? No savings account, depleting the whole thing, going $1,000 into the negative every single month, almost having to go back to my teaching career to leave the kids, right? Kept making all these ridiculous decisions. Nothing was changing. What changed is that I did something different. I took this seriously. I treated this like a business. I showed up every day. And because I love it so much, it really and truly does not feel like work for me. I could do this 24 seven. If I didn't have the kids, I would choose to do that. And because of those little simple things of me just showing up, <clears throat> putting in the, the, the work every day like that, all of that changed for us, right? That's how I'm able to have my house for sale. Now we're going to be moving someplace warmer. Thank goodness. Right. <laughs> Cause I'm up in Massachusetts, but that's why I'm able to do that and have that flexibility now because of this opportunity. And it's been a huge blessing. So Nothing gets me more excited, like I said at the beginning, than when I have new coaches like you guys come onto the team because this could be it for you. This could literally be that one thing that changes the entire course of your future if you allow it to. And I'm no different than you. I'm just a stay-at-home mom <laughs> who wanted to continue staying home and get ourselves out of all that debt and change things for our family. And I was sick and tired of just settling and thinking that things were just good and accepting that when really guys you have just one life and settling for the good is that's not worth it you deserve the best life possible and people don't think it exists people think that you have to go into a job that you don't really like and work it every single day until you're 65 years old and retire it doesn't have to be that way if you guys love this this could be your thing just like it's been that thing for me and for so many other coaches on the team so I hope that you guys enjoyed the call and I'm an open book. I don't candy coat anything. If you guys ever have any questions, send me a private message. I'll get back within 24 hours. Send me an email. Um, but welcome to the team guys. And I'm excited to have you here. All right. I'll see you next week. Bye everyone.